Здравствуйте, товарищи. Today we're going to be doing the Soviet kit impression. Like the East German kit, we're going to go from the top down to the bottom, and before we start, I am going to say this is not 100% complete, I am still missing the shovel and the jack boots, so take that in mind. The helmet here is the SSH-69, or 68, uh, it is the helmet, it's a variant of the SSH-40, it has a pretty sloped front and semi-sloped back, not as sloped as the East German M56, but yet still sloped enough to deflect shrapnel or anything coming off of it. It is in green, it has a adjustable leather liner and an adjustable leather strap. The uniform is the M69 and it is post World War II and each it's just a one kind of greenish gray, greenish brown color that has the same as the pants. The buttons are gold brass colored with little hammers and sickles on them. Another thing that I missed is I do not have the shoulder boards or the collar tabs for this uniform yet. This is the gas mask bag. It is uh, goes underneath the Y straps and underneath the belt so it doesn't flop around. And in the back is the bag itself which is just closed by little loops and buttons. Inside the bag is the filter which I recommend not breathing through if you have one of these. They tend to have asbestos in them, which is not a very safe chemical. And the, uh, inside, we also have the gas mask itself, the GP5, and I'm not going to put it on because the it's not really safe. But you just screw on the filter, and voila. The Y straps are made of a. And they're actually like a fabric type material, if you can see on the inside, it's kind of a small fabric material covered in a rubbery type material to make it look like leather. The, it's the same for the belt itself. The buckle is metal with a star with hammer and sickle on it. The pouches we have on the belt are the grenade pouch, the AK mag pouch, and the canteen, which isn't really a pouch. There is a missing spot right here where the shovel would go, but I do not have the shovel yet. The, this is the AK mag pouch. It's a kind of canvas-like material with a leather strap with a little hole on it to fit onto this pin. Inside I have three AK mag pouches. It's a three-cell pouch. Fits them just fine. There's two little pockets on either side. One here for, I don't know, something. And one on the other side for a tool. On this side I have the grenade pouch, which is also the same canvas material. Another little leather strap. Inside, since I do not have two grenades, I have one dummy grenade and just CO2. The canteen attaches to the belt using this button that loops over the top and crosses in the back over the belt. The canteen itself is an aluminum canteen with the same aluminum top that's connected using a little chain here. On the back we have the Palash Palatka, which is wrapped up and then looped around the back strap of the Y-strap. This is the tent tarp, or in Russian, Palash Palatka, and it just fits on the back, it unrolls, it's got two little loops here to fit through the belt system. It unrolls into a pretty large square. It's similar to the East German, it's, well, the East German Zeltbahn was actually uh, basically just a copy of this with the Stuchtarn pattern put on top of it. Uh, this is a little bit older and it's only one color. Turn, how to turn it into a cape is basically the exact same as turning the Zeltbahn into a cape. It's just this one is a little bit older. It has uh, slightly different features. Rather than metal buttons, if I can find the end of it, in this corner. Nope. One minute, we'll be right back. So these, the toggles on this, rather than being little metal buttons, they're little wooden, like, pegs, I guess. And you would just do the same thing. You just pop it through the loop on the end that fits over that. You want the button or toggle on the inside. You're going to find this little curved line here that just curves down. That's where the hood goes. There's straps on either side. You 
grab onto the straps. Like, like so. Pull it up over the shoulders and you just pull them tight. And tie them together. And you have the tent tarp itself. The difference between this one and the East German one is this one only has one armhole and that's to hold your gun on one side and basically use this side like this rather than having both arms through the armholes. I don't know why they did that, but it's like that. It may seem a bit redundant because we did this in our last video, but if you haven't seen that, you should go check that out by the way. Uh, this is how to put up the hood and just turn this into the functional rain cover. We have, you take the top, you find the little strap, fold it back under, back over, and then there should be two more sets of straps just above, um, right here and right here. You take those and you just pull those tight and you have a rain cover. I know that this video seems similar to the last because these are both uh, impression videos and they're similar just in general, but we like to make these kinds of videos, so here you go. We may miss next week's upload, or in fact, there's a good chance we will because I'm going to be in Europe next week and we are. I'll do some travel vlogs while I'm there and when we get back we promise there'll be content from that trip. We'll be in, I'll be in Prague in the Czech Republic and I'll be in East Germany, or Ber Germany, but ex-East Germany in Berlin. Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed this impression video. Leave a like on this video. Tell us what other types of videos you'd want in the future. Maybe more impression videos. Um, airsoft gameplay. We'll have that coming soon. Have a good day. До свидания, товарищи. Wait, what am I supposed to say? <laughs>